and welcome to the channel. For those of you that are stopping by for your first time, my name is Alan. I actually own two former emergency services vehicles. One is a 2008 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Uh, used to be a fire department vehicle, has a bunch of lights on it. They sold it that way, changed it all to amber. You can check out the other videos if you haven't seen it. And I also own a 2010 Chevrolet Impala 9C1, former sheriff's office vehicle. Anyway, today what I'd like to talk about is installing a Unity Spotlight on a Ford Crown Victoria that already has the spotlight hole. So if you bought one of your cars at auction, Ford Crown Victoria, this will show you how to put a spotlight that you find either on a junk car or eBay or trade meet, wherever. I'll show you how to put it on the car. Let's get to it. Before we get started, this video is actually three separate videos in one, depending on what you were trying to do with a, your spotlight. So at the first timestamp right here, this will guide you as to what you need if you already have a car. So if you're in the market for a used spotlight, what to look for spotlight wise, what to look for on your car, what you're going to need. Now, the second part of the video at this timestamp is actually going to be how you put that spotlight on the car. So skip to there. If you already have a spotlight, you just need to know how to install it. The third part of the video is going to be how do you take the spotlight off the car? That's going to be at this timestamp. So if you're here purely to figure out how to take your spotlight off, just cut to this timestamp, watch that part of the video, and maybe make yourself a couple dollars. But anyway, I guess let's get to it with the first part. So as many of you know, this is the dead Vic. I'm actually storing this for a friend. Yeah, that was a lizard. But in order to put the spotlight on, you're already going to have to have this hole and then a hole through the A-pillar. So as you can see, there's a hole here. And then there's a trim piece right here. And most of these cars should have some sort of electrical plug. So if your car doesn't have all this, you're going to have to make all this. And I'm not going to cover that in this video. But if your car does have this, it does have this hole, it does have this little cut in the door. I'll show you how to put this on. And you may have to clean some gunk out of here because usually there's filler in here to keep the uh, water out. All right, so what do you need to install a spotlight on a car that used to already have a spotlight on it? Basically, you need to make sure you have a complete spotlight. So what do I mean by that? It needs to have the handle, the electrical plug, this bolt right here. This piece right here attaches to the inside of the A-pillar. This attaches to the outside of the A-pillar. There's a couple of screws, a couple of screws. These go on the inside of the car. These go on the outside of the car through these bolt holes. And of course, you're gonna need this entire assembly. Basically, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and uh, probably a crescent wrench because uh, I'm too lazy to figure out what size uh, bolt this is. So the fastest way to make this happen, you need to separate your spotlight into three parts. Basically, the spotlight head with partial shaft, there's an interior shaft inside of this outer one that's going to be attached to the head. This exterior shaft right here is going to come off and slide out of that shaft and then the handle itself also needs to come off so basically you're going to have three separate parts in order to install this on the crown bit all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take the handle off so basically you're going to loosen the the little bolt here And then once you get it about halfway, you kind of push on it. And what that's going to do is there's a wedge on the other side right here that holds the handle to the shaft. And the reason why you push on it is to pop that wedge free because it's going to be in there kind of tight. So I don't know how well that's going to come through, 
but there is clearly a flat side to this. See, I don't know if you can see that, but this is actually a wedge piece, and that flat side actually lines up inside the handle. So inside of here, there's a flat piece just inside on that shaft that that wedge piece lines up with. If it's not lined up properly, the wedge won't seat fully into this hole. So when you're going to install it, you're gonna to have to make sure everything lines up or else that wedge won't go in and that'll be the, probably the hardest part of this entire install. See again, there's that flat section. This wedge piece actually presses right up against that when it's mounting and that's what pulls the uh, spotlight snug if this uh, wedge breaks gets crushed wears out what will happen is as you're driving down the road the spotlight will actually kind of flop backwards and probably scare you pretty good if you're doing like 50 miles an hour that's usually when it likes to do that but anyway so we got the handle off and uh, what i'll do to make sure that i don't lose any parts is i'll go ahead and just drop this piece back in here Go ahead and put the bolt in there just enough to hold it together so I don't lose any of the pieces. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this screw right here out of the light head. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and pull this outer shaft off. We're going to slide it off and what it will expose is the, in the inner shaft. So now we're down to the three basic parts I was talking about. The light head with the inner shaft, the outer shaft, and the handle. So if you can't separate this outer shaft from the inner shaft, what you may have to do is take your flathead screwdriver and wedge it right in here, like right in this slit, and just push it in just enough to separate the metal just a little bit, and it should loosen it up so that the outer shaft can slide off. So let's go to the car. All right, so in order to install this in the car, you wanna make sure that the hole through your A-pillar is clear and there's not a bunch of grime or filler or you know, whatever caulk, paper towel, whatever they can think of of jamming in there. Uh, you'll have to make sure that's nice and cleaned out. On the inside, you'll see that there's this hole. You'll wanna make sure you have your electrical wire uh, assuming they didn't cut it off, it should still be there. And then you're going to basically pull the trim piece off the A-pillar. So, just pull the electrical out. And what you'll see is that there's actually little metal clips. There's two of them. They just attach, it looks like this one just kind of popped off and then it's just kind of sitting down in the area down right there. I'll go ahead and pull this metal clip because it didn't come out of there, but. And we'll go ahead and reattach that to this so that when we go to put this back together, it'll actually reattach. But as you can see, there's a nice hole straight through the A-pillar. And that's what you're going to need in order to mount this uh, spotlight. So let's go get the parts. All right. After we take the plastic cover off the A-pillar, what we'll do is we'll take this mounting plate 
and slide it right here underneath of the rubber the weather stripping and screw it down there's two existing holes that are through the a pillar and basically you attach this plate right here um and bolt it in so as you can see basically it just screws right in you get the outer plate and then we'll put the interior piece in So this will literally slide right through the hole. And now what you'll see here is I've got two sets of screws. Uh, this one's a little bit wider and came with the spotlight when I got the spotlight off the donor vehicle. And then this are, these are actually smaller screws, a little bit narrower. And these actually fit in the screw holes that are in this car, so I'm going to use these. But I could have used these if I just wanted to drill the hole out a little bit more. So at this point, we have that exterior shaft put in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the light head on. All right, so I've got the light head. I took this bolt out of here and we're just gonna slide it in from the outside in. And kind of a guide right here. You can see how this is nice and shiny. All of this needs to be in here. So if this is still kind of showing the shiny part, it's not gonna seat up right. What I do is kind of twist it back and forth a little bit and that seems to make it a little bit easier to get it all the way in. And then what you'll see on this side, again, is that little flat area. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the wedge goes on the handle. So let's go get the handle and uh, make sure that it's uh, gonna seat right before we put this bolt in. So the next part of this puzzle, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the wedge out. I can get my fingers around it. So there's my last couple pieces. The handle is, there's a piece inside of here. Can't really see it on the camera that is gonna line up with this edge right here. See, there's like a little notch. Um, basically, you're just gonna kinda twist it around until it kinda pops on. If it'll go, there we go. See, now it's starting to seat. And then you're going to look for that flat spot. You can kind of see it starting to show itself. I don't know how well it's coming through on the camera. But you got to make sure that it's fully exposed. And then we can test by putting the wedge in here. Seeing if it goes all the way in or not. There we go. So I got the wedge all the way in. You can see it's not sticking out at all, which means I can actually finish installing this. So basically this bolt goes in from the back side and tightens down. So you got your wedge on this side and the bolt that holds the wedge on this side. You don't have to make it super tight. You just got to make sure it's on. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the outside to lock the head in place. It's where your screwdriver kind of comes in handy. Remember, you don't want to make these things like too crazy tight. It just needs to work. So what you'll see here is it's kind of stiff. So I might want to just loosen that a hair. See, now it turns a little bit more freely. Um, what should also happen is when you turn this handle, the head should rotate freely. There are some adjustments by tightening, tightening uh, I believe there, one of these screws up here will actually allow that to uh, kind of bind down a little bit and not allow it to turn as easily. But other than that, basically you just take this electrical plug, connect it to this electrical plug, snap them together, 
and uh, put your trim back on your A-pillar. So basically you take this, kind of hard to do with two hands, but you guys kind of get the idea. So you basically feed your wire through here, take the split part, put it over that, and then line these up with the holes and snap it in place and then pull the weather stripping back and you have a spotlight. So as you can see, this is how it looks like from the outside. On the dead Vic. Now, if for some reason you have a car that has a spotlight and you want to get the spotlight off, just reverse the process. Basically, take the trim off the A-pillar, make sure your cord doesn't attach, uh, go ahead and unplug the actual light head itself, basically separate that piece, pop the trim panel off, and you're just going to do the reverse of the process. Basically, you're going to take the handle off, pull the light head out, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. What I like to do is kind of stand it upright. It makes it a little bit easier to work with everything. You know, you unscrew this bolt from the back side. You might need a wrench to break it free. Once you get a few threads out, kind of push on it. That'll pop out your wedge. So even if it's kind of stuck, it'll loosen it up. Um, if you take the bolt all the way out, you can always screw it in from this side and use the bolt to pull the wedge out if you have to, if it's stuck real good, especially on an older vehicle. Um, keep in mind, if you do have a spotlight and you don't want it on your car, sell that thing on eBay when you're done. Take it off nice and clean like this, take the bolts with it, put it on eBay, you should be able to get yourself about 50 bucks for it. So as I said, what I like to do is when I work the handle off, just so I don't lose parts, I'll put the wedge back in here. Basically wedge, bolt, that way I don't lose it. And then on the outside here, You unscrew this. If you get to this point and the light head will not slide out, what you may have to do, as I mentioned earlier, you may have to take a screwdriver and just kind of wedge it right in this gap a little bit. And if you put it just enough pressure on it, it should widen that just a little bit. I mean, you don't want to jam it in there, but if you can get it just barely in there, um, it should kind of loosen the grip of the light head on that outer shaft, and it should just be able to slide right out at that point. Again, once you get to this point, go ahead and undo these couple of screws. And try not to throw them on the ground, as that doesn't help you. And if you are removing a spotlight from your vehicle, it'll be good to have some silicone um, so that you can fill in the spotlight hole. Because what you don't want to do is let the weather get in there real good. Um, see, at this point, you can slide this out. And then it's your choice on whether or not you want to leave this outer plate, but if you're going to try to sell your spotlight, what you want to do is go ahead and just take that outer plate off. Because uh, odds are you're not going to need it anyway, and you're probably going to fill this area in. Um, you could also go to the junkyard and get you a new piece of weather stripping to help seal the door a little bit better. But fill this hole in, and uh, not with paper towel.
Now, this plate may or may not come off real easily because there is going to be some, uh, some glue behind it. And if you do end up putting this plate on, you may want to put a little bit of glue behind here um, or some kind of, uh, I guess, weather resistant stuff because that's the way they set it up at the factory. But again, there's uh, all the parts. This is the screws and the plate for the outside. These are the screws for the inside for this shaft. You got your handle. This is the screw for the light head. And uh, normally what I do is I put everything back together so that it's nice, pretty, and makes sense so that the next person that gets it can put it on their car. And back to the way it was. Here, I'll block it a little bit better. Yay, back to the way it was. Woo, you can tell us it's getting to be summertime out here. It's getting nice and toasty. But anyway, hopefully that explains to everybody how you take a spotlight, uh, spotlight, spotlight on and off of a Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor if you already have the hole in it. So if you're looking to take yours off, like I said, if you take it off nicely, and you do it properly and you take all the mounting hardware off nice and pretty and put it all back together in a cute little package you can go into you know facebook marketplace ebay uh local swap meet whatever and you should be able to get at least 50 bucks for it you know on the low side maybe 25 maybe on the high side if you're really feeling like pressing somebody you know like 75 bucks but i think you know 45 to 50 bucks is a good fair price for a used spotlight and as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get the thing off. So, you know, spend 20 minutes if you got the right tools, tops, you know, maybe, maybe even five if you get good at it. Um, make 50 bucks, that's not a bad deal. So anyway, if you're looking to put a spotlight on, you're gonna need all those components, put the thing together. You may or may not have that outside mounting plate on your A-pillar. If you do, great. Uh, then you won't need that piece either. But uh, basically, that's how it goes together. That's how it's done. Hopefully this helps some people out there. And uh, if you're gonna ask me for that spotlight, it's already been spoken for. It is going on down the road. So um, don't have any right now. Maybe I'll go to the junkyard and see if I can pry some more off some cars. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Hopefully this, guy, this helped you out. And uh, love to all of you. I'll catch you on the next video. Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. And don't forget, this inner piece has to slide over this little notch right here all the stuff won't line up so if you get this off center it won't go it's got to slide right over that it's got a seat don't forget that don't forget it